Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, y'all? The legend, the legendary Mel gets all of this back. Um, at PAX, we finally got a full review of the gameplay trailer of um, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. And if y'all don't know, you could tell from my YouTube username, Psycho Mantis, Metal Gear Solid is my favourite game of all time. It is the greatest game of all time, or well, that's just an opinion, but Metal Gear Solid is a game I grew up playing even as a kid. I mean, and the thing is, there's so many people talking about Metal Gear Solid's as if they know Metal Gear Solid. I mean, you go on forums, I mean, you look at videos, you look at the comments, and it's crazy. It's crazy. If people don't know, Metal Gear Solid has been around for 25 years. 25 years the game's been around for. It was around even before, even before most of us were born. Before I was born, it, it was around. But I am pretty fortunate I was born before the legendary Metal Gear Solid 1 was released on the PS1. And I was fortunate enough to play it while I was a kid. And I've played Metal Gear Solid 1 about a thousand times. Trust me when I say that. And it amazes me that lots of people are talking out their ass when it comes to Ground Zeroes. Talking out the absolute bumhole. They don't have a clue what they're talking about. Metal Gear, I mean the majority of hardcore Metal Gear Solid fans. Actually not the majority. All, yeah actually the majority of hardcore Metal Gear Solid fans like me. They're not kids. I mean they're not kids. They're like... 17 or 18 or, or older. I mean, you're not gonna find these 14, 15 year olds hardcore Metal Gear Solid fans. I'm sorry, and all these people talking as if they know Metal Gear Solid, they don't have a clue about Metal Gear Solid. That's <coughs> that's the truth, man. That's the truth. But this game is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. One thing is, it's a multiplayer. <coughs> Excuse me. One thing is, is that it is a multiplayer. A Metal Gear Solid 4 was a full-on exclusive. Kojima is one of the few people that maxed out the Blu-ray disc to 50 gigabytes. I think Uncharted 3 was 50 gigabytes, but I'm not 100% sure. But Metal Gear Solid 4 was, an, in my opinion, the best game of this generation. It truly is. And Ground Zeroes, I mean, the gameplay that you're seeing right, right now is running on a PC. However, it's running on a PC with the same specs of a PS3. You know what I'm saying? It's running on a PC of the same specs of a PS3. So, and Kojima even said that this is what the PS3 version will look like, or this is what the PS3 version will be comparable to. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Now, I don't know if it is being released for the PC, but let's be honest. There's no Metal Gear Solid fan that's going to play this game other than with a DualShock controller in his hand. That's, that's, a, that's a fact. There's no Metal Gear Solid, there's no me proper true Metal Gear Solid fan that's going to play this game with a mouse and keyboard or with an Xbox 360 controller. That's, that's just the truth. That's just the truth. And for you Xbox 360 guys out there, I'm sorry to say, but this game is going to be on about six or seven discs. I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but it's going to be on multiple discs on the Xbox. That's just a fact. I mean, Kojima oversaw um, the Castlevania game Lord of Shadows, and that was a multiple disc on the 360. Um, Metal Gear Solid did not come to the 360. One of the main reasons was the 360 was incapable with them discs. And even if it was on the 360, Metal Gear Solid 4 would have been on about <coughs> would have been on about six, seven, or even more discs. That's the truth. I'm not hating. The same, the same to do with anything about fanboys. It's just the truth. And this game will be on one or two discs maximum on the PS3, and it will be on about three or four or more discs on. The 360. If Kojima manages to do this game on two or three discs on the 360, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. But like I said, the true place, I de the lead platform for this game is the PS3. Period. You know, it's it's the PS3. PS3 is the lead platform for this game. The game looks absolutely. I mean, just look at this. The game looks stunning. I cannot wait to hear more on this game. But um, if y'all don't know, this game is set after the events of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. If you ain't played Peace Walker, you're missing out on an absolute gem. <coughs> after the events of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater and after the events of Peace Walker they're, they're calling this more of a free roam Metal Gear Solid open world type of game which is pretty cool I'm looking forward to that I'm, I'm looking forward to what Kojima does with that um, I mean there's so many things you can say about this game I mean the storyline is crazy I mean like I said don't hear what all these people are talking about true Metal Gear Solid fans know and know what to expect from in terms of storyline. I mean, lots of people have been talking nonsense. Um, this game, 
what will it be on? It's pretty tough to say. It's pretty tough to say what it's gonna in terms of storyline. I mean, Kojima comes up with the most amazing of storylines. The ultimate, most ultimate stuff we'll be able to see is Big Boss coming face to face with a young Solid Snake. That's that's gonna be the cherry on the cake. Oh yeah, another thing. This is a prequel to Metal Gear Solid Five, so uh, need I say more? Metal Gear Solid fans know what I'm talking about. That's an ultimate bombshell right there. That is gonna be crazy. If this, like I said, this is a prequel to Metal Gear Solid Five. Just imagine Metal Gear Solid Five, Solid Snake comes up against Big Boss. And if y'all don't know, like I said, Metal Gear Solid has been around for 25 years, even before Metal Gear Solid One was released. I mean. Metal Gear Solid on the original MSX and then Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake where he in infiltrates Zanzibar land and out. It's crazy man, it's crazy. I mean there's so much to talk about when it comes to Metal Gear Solid and I'm just a huge Metal Gear Solid fan and I cannot wait to hear more on this game. Um, the PS3 version of this game is going to be mind blowing. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if this game is for the PC but like I said, who the, which nerd is going to play this game with a mouse and keyboard? I don't know. And um, for the 360 version, it's going to be on multiple discs because Kojima w likes to make the most of our, make the most of his games. You know what I'm saying? So I cannot wait for this game. I cannot wait to hear more in this game. My prediction is going to be released in. I say, I really, it's really unlikely the game is going to be released towards the end of 2013. We all know next gen consoles is coming soon. The next generation of consoles are coming soon. So don't be surprised to see this game on the PS4. Um, or the next seven Xbox to be honest, but um, I'm predicting a 2014 release date for this game. Like I said, Metal Gear Solid 4 was delayed upon delayed, and that game was released in 2008, June the 12th, I think. It was released during that time. See, I know my dates, man. Metal Gear Solid is just it's crazy, it's crazy. But um, I cannot wait for this game. I cannot wait to hear more in this game. My prediction is that we'll hear more in this game all the way at E3 20, 2013. We might hear some tidbits more in between that, but I cannot wait for this game. I cannot wait. Anything on this game, I'll sure to keep you posted because this is now my most anticipated game from all the games out there. So that's all I got to say. I cannot wait for this game. For the real Metal Gear Solid fans out there, let me know what y'all think. Not you little 12, 13 year olds who think you know about Metal Gear Solid when obviously you don't. Um, this game's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, and I cannot wait to hear more. Kojima, you're you're an absolute legend, man. You're an absolute legend. This game, ah, oh, need I say more, man? Need I say more? I'm out.